Okay, y'all, welcome back to part two of our Tabernacle Prep. Today we're going to talk about a lot of the essentials. Um, we already went through some of the essentials, so if you haven't already, check out part one of this video. I'll go ahead and link it right here at the top. Okay, so now I am just going to start us off with some of the very, very um, essential items. So, of course, you are going to need your tent. Okay, you guys. Um, if this is your first tabernacle, you want to make sure you're looking at the number of persons. You kind of want to double that. Um, if it's like a tent for two and it's one person, you might very well be good. But if it says like a tent for six, you might want to divide that by two and um, that would be like a tent for three. Um, because they say it's a tent for six, but it's like that would be like a cram tent. So just be mindful of that. Um, I do like Coleman. Um, we've had this one for three years. We will be upgrading soon as our family grows, but... I really like this one. Um, it has a little front porch, screen in front porch, and then the back is the rest of the tent. So if you guys haven't seen my first Tabernacle vlog, go ahead and check that out. I um, did a video of, of us setting that up. But moving on, um, we didn't have this the first year, but the second year we did go ahead and get this privacy tent. Um, it's just a smaller, more narrow um, tent. We use this for showers for um, the, as our restroom. The first year we just kind of used a barrier as our um, restroom section in the tent. Um, but then we went ahead and just was like, we'll just do a private separate area for that. So it's totally up to you. It did work out um, either way. Um, but of course we're gonna do this this year again um, because it did work out well. Um, the only complaint I had about this is just it's not a lot of ventilation. Um, so when it was hot out there, it was just like, oh, it was just really humid. Okay, so another thing, this is one of our, Camping chairs, you definitely want to have a folding chair. Do not go out there without anything to sit on. We have this portable potty. So we got this. Um, the first year we just had a bucket and we just went and bought a little cheap toilet seat <laughs> and put it on top of the bucket and it worked. Um, but this one is actually customized to the bucket. So it fits super tight and snug on there. So it's not going to move. Um, but this is what we use. I know it's a little TMI, um, but we never go to like the, I just cleaned it. So it's like wet. Um, we never go to the restrooms out there. So we always bring that. We put a plastic bag in there and we use kitty litter and it's really effective. So if you haven't tried it, give it a try. Okay, so we've been having this for three years. This is a um, two burner camp stove and we use propane with this. This works wonders. Like we really, really, really love this. Um, and this is all we pretty much use. We don't really grill that much. Of course, you're gonna need a cooler. I took the top off, I just washed everything. So, but this is our cooler. Get the size that fits your needs, of course. We have ours on wheel because it's just easier. But that's it for the primary essentials, you guys. You don't want to leave. Like, the stove, you, you, there's going to be grills out there. Not all parks have grills. And you might not always be around somebody that's um, able to share food. So you want to just make sure you're prepared to be able to cook for yourself. Um in the event that there's no, no grills and that you can't share food. Okay, so take a look at that. Make sure you put that on your checklist and mark it off if you already have it. Okay, y'all, so here is what we are looking like. And this is not including this bin we went over. I went ahead and put everything in Ziploc bags just to kind of separate them. So like kitchen stuff, miscellaneous stuff, light sources, and stuff like that just to separate it for now but i'm gonna go over what we have so to start i got these at dollar tree these are some little dollar mats um this one is actually harder and heavier so i'm thinking to leave this one on top of the black one but if i change my mind while we're out there i'm gonna use this top one for outside and then this black one for inside okay so i put most of our bathroom items in here you definitely want some air freshener you guys keep i got some towels in here Make sure you designate some towels for Tabernacle. I got these, the set of four towels from Dollar Tree. So it's cheap and expensive, so that's fine. Um, and then I got some loofahs. I got this little dog grooming mitt 
for our dog because we use dry shampoo on him so this would just help us um get it throughout his hair because he really smells um once he's coming from outdoors into our tent so i'm gonna put this to use a lot more so we have some wipes i just threw these in here we're not gonna take all of these um we got some extra hand sanitizer you just want to stay as sanitary as possible um, but that's all I have in here. Um, I have more things that we'll talk about later, but I'm trying to separate everything. This is like bathroom. Um, I got these two buckets. Okay, so we have paper towels, all our paper products. We're moving over towards the kitchen section. Cups, you definitely need plastic cups, y'all. Of course, you need forks and spoons. You can grab knives as well. Um, get you some bowls. A lot of people forget bowls, but bowls come in handy um, where you don't really need a plate. But get you some plates and bowls. Okay, um, so here's our propane tanks for our stove. And then let's see what's in this kitchen basket. Um, so I got these. These are reusable Ziploc bags. Amazon, y'all. Look online. I'm so excited to try these. So um, you can wash these and reuse them. So it came in this pack of, what is this, eight. Um, so I'm going to be using these for our food. Um, check it out. I just got a tablecloth from Dollar Tree because you never know what those tables are going to look like. And you can use the clips to make sure the wind doesn't blow them. I got some little party cups. It's always fun to have these. <laughs> um, here's the little Brillo pads. That's to make um, washing your dishes easier depending on what you're cooking. Like if you're cooking chili and stuff, you don't want to be out there scrubbing for days. So just grab you some Brillo pads. These from Dollar Tree. And you can just use them and throw them out. Um, a wine opener. Ours broke, so we went and got a new one. But you need one that saved the day for somebody else. <laughs> um, this doesn't go in there. That goes in there. But that's just two two brush holders. Don't forget those. Our use of Ziploc bags. Um, this is just to clean the dishes from Dollar Tree. Um, what else? A can, can opener. We needed to buy a manual one because we have an electric one for the house. So this is just stay in the tabernacle bin. We went ahead and got some more Centronella candles. These ones are smaller than the other one you've seen in the other video. Um, but these are cute. So these are just be around whenever we're cooking or sitting outside eating. Clorox wipes. Yeah, I know we need the Clorox wipes. So I got two of these from Dollar Tree. Check your Dollar Tree, y'all. And then my little utensils. I got these little mini utensils um, for cooking. Because I usually try to bring my little small pots and pans. Because um, I, like I said before in my um, previous video, I didn't do a lot of cooking. I do a lot of prep. So I'm usually like warming stuff up or making like small quick meals. But that is for the kitchen. More towards miscellaneous items. Um, this is silicone water guard. Y'all, we use this on our tent every year. This is like a lifesaver. When it rains, you want this on your tent. Okay, so get you some um, waterproof spray and put that bad boy on your tent like hours if you think it's gonna rain do it days or hours before okay this is the moisture eliminator i got one i should have got two um to put in the tent and the personal tent i might go back and get another one but this is good to just um pull moisture out of your areas y'all know it'll be humid um and we have like wet stuff in our tent unless you're keeping it outside like our towels and stuff like that so you want to use this because it's not all that great ventilation everywhere so in your tents so get this i just got another storage container um so i have this little black trash can from dollar tree so this would be good just to have in the tent put a um, trash bag inside so this is like the main trash can and then i like to put the bags all over the place but i got a bag full of batteries you definitely want to have your batteries you're gonna have lights like these headlamps definitely get you a headlamp it's gonna be dark <laughs> need batteries for your lights you need batteries for your flashlights your um my son is rolling around in his walker y'all so sorry um you need it for your fans you need it for a whole bunch of stuff so get you a ton of batteries so this is not even all of our batteries that's like the ones we have open we have more batteries here double a triple a get all of them cd <laughs> whatever you need i got some more of those clips get you some super glue you never know when you're gonna need glue okay for your tent for anything i got some tweezers this is just for like you never know you might get a thorn a splinter a, a ingrown hair just get you some tweezers throw it in your um safety kit emergency kit i just bought another leash for our dog i'm gonna just have like tabernacle and stuff separate for him um um, got this lint roller that's for you know your clothes for your sheets and blankets um because stuff is everywhere like you it's gonna be bugs it's gonna be dirt it's gonna be sand like whatever so get you a lint roller it'll be useful i got some more of these puppy pads for the floor 
to catch dirt and water. Damn, this thing holding a lot. I got some more clips. I got my glow sticks just for some more fun and some more lights. Uh, for if y'all don't have a lot of space in your car, Dollar Tree got bungee cords so you can like strap them to the top of your car or you know, you never know when you need bungee cords. You might need to do some cords, rope, whatever. I just got both. Okay, and that's all for those items. Let me put everything. Nothing is really organized. I'm trying to have it in its separate home so I know what is what. But um, for the most part, we are not packed yet. I'm just showing you guys um, pretty much the essential items that you would need or that you should consider. An umbrella. Get you an umbrella. Get a few. Leave it in a car. Leave it in a tent. Wherever you need it. But get your umbrella. And I kept the bag from all these items because they're coming with me because they're trash bags. Okay, so don't throw out your trash bags. Keep them and pack them with you. So here is another chair, another foldable chair that we're taking. So this one is a little more sturdier. So they have different ty types. The other one is more of a lounger that I showed you earlier. This one is more upright and um, helps your posture. And it has a little tray for uh, with a cup holder. So you can put like your plates, your cup. It's really nice. I got that one from Walmart. We'll got both of the chairs from Walmart. Um, oh, and a lot of these um, items were from Dollar Tree and Walmart, not just um, Dollar Tree. So just FYI. Um, we're bringing our little cameo blanket. The pink is our daughter's cut so make sure you're packing your kids cuts um behind that i mean under that we have our mattress so this is the mattress we have i love it so much it has a built-in um pump so all we gotta do is push the button and it pumps by itself we don't have to do anything and it's a queen size mattress it fits in that six person tent so <laughs> for breeze y'all i'm not bringing all this i just took the one out but i might bring one more um just to put in a different area um but get you some Febreze, some air freshener, whatever. And what else? And I like to bring, y'all Y'all know I'm all about smells. If you didn't know, now you know. Um, so I usually bring this. I, I haven't put a new freshener inside, so I don't know if I'm going to bring it this year. But I do like to bring these as well. I just set them up in a part of a tent where nobody's, you know, going to get sprayed. And it really helps keep the tent fresh and smelling nice. You're in a smaller space, um, so you're going to get a lot more whiffs of just anything. And if, if you don't, because our tent never really stinks, but it's always nice to just come back home. Home. Because this is our home in the wilderness. It's nice to come home to a nice smelling tent, okay? So get you some smell good. Um, Here is the fan I told you guys about. Where did we get this? I believe we got this from either Walmart or Amazon. I cannot remember right now, you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, but this is what I was mentioning earlier in the first video. It has a fan mechanism and a heater mechanism. So this is legit. Um, I really love this fan because you never know. With Tabernacle, it can be hot one minute, cold the next. You might plan for hot weather. It'd be cold weather. You just never know. So I was like, this, this is perfect. Um, but this is good. This is good. Y'all want to get something similar to this if you haven't already. Because this is good. And it wasn't even that expensive. I can't remember exactly, but I know it wasn't that expensive because I was super excited. A speaker. Y'all don't leave the house without a speaker. Y'all know we be so hyped. Um, blasting our Israelite music up into the heavens, y'all. So get your music. Get your speakers. If it's more intimate, I know everybody don't need a speaker, but it's always nice to have one um, just in case you're just, you know, a little more off to the side and you don't have to have it on blast mode. You could just play it or you can put something on for the kids while the adults are doing something. It's nice to have. So we're packing this this year. We haven't, we didn't bring this last year, but we're going to bring it this year. I want to also talk about this. So I'm bringing this caddy this year. Um, this is perfect for your tent. I, I hate plastic, like the bags i hate going through it everything so i really want to just take stuff out this year and see if that makes anything better but i already like how this is looking this is not going to be in here um because this is more so for inside the tent um and y'all know my restaurant is going to be in a separate tent so i'm just going to put more diapers um so it's easy to just grab um what i need for the kids so diapers wipes emergency medicines um i also put like pain medicines vitamins lotions um, so I'm just going to fill this up with like stuff that I really need on hand. Um, and this is going to be like near the bed in the tent. So if you can find a little caddy to do something similar, I really suggest it. Because I'm tired of just having diaper <clears throat> bags and stuff. I just want something quick to be like, okay, let's do this. Because a lot of times you're, you can be out and you're just running back to your tent to like change them or do something really quick. And you just want it like handy, like right there. 
Um, and then you can leave all the bags in the car and you just refill this. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. That's just me. But um, I'm going to, I just have these storage containers, a little storage bag, um, just for added storage. Cause I almost forgot to show you guys the kitty litter. Um, this is a different one. We didn't use the same one last year, but just get something like this. It absorbs really well, um, so you want to get this to put into your personal toilets if you are using that. Um, lastly, this is our dog's bag. I haven't went through this, but we always try to just have stuff separate for, for him. He has his little raincoat so he doesn't get too wet because that's just stinky. Um, what else we have for him? He has his little dog cologne. That's super helpful when you're outdoors. We have, this is the no rinse shampoo that I was mentioning earlier. We just use this foam on him when he's coming from outside. He has his own little bag, y'all. Like, I just threw this in here after Tabernacle, but you wanna make sure you have their cleanup bags. Don't leave the house without having some little baggies to clean up their mess. Um, I bring his brush too, just in case. And of course his bowl and his food, but if you have a pet, just give them their own little bag um, and pack their bag just like you pack everybody else's. Um, so that's just the start of his. I'll pack the rest of his stuff when we're packing our clothes. Cause y'all, this is the end of the essentials, but we have the pack food, we have the pack clothes. Y'all, Tabernacle gets real. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you liked anything, if there was a tip that I missed, cause it was, just, it's, it's a lot of tips out there, y'all. I know I didn't touch on a lot of things that we do. Um, but this is just the basics. Like, hopefully this helped you guys. If you have any tips, leave them in the comment section below. Like, Okay, so we have our tent up, and the reason why I suggest you put your tent up is one, if you want to make sure all the pieces are there, you want to make sure it functions correctly, and two, you can spray it down. Right now, we're putting on the waterproof spray, but you want to get inside, make sure um, there's no bugs, there's no mold. You want to just make sure you're going to be good. You don't want to wait till you get out there and then you be like stuck without a tent. So if you used your tent before or are just buying your tent, you want to make sure everything is in there and everything functions properly. It's big enough for you and your family. And don't forget your tarp, you guys. We don't have our tarp out here, but you want to make sure you have your tarp underneath your tent. Um, that's it. I mean, that's Tabernacle and Prep. There's a lot that goes into it, but it's a wonderful feast day. Um, so I wish you all good luck. I wish you all well. Happy feast. I hope these videos were helpful. But that is all. I really hope you guys enjoyed these videos. I hope they were. And enjoy the feast, fam.